Hi guys, this is Mira at Full Circle Audio. Um, if you guys would like to get some more exclusive dub techno content, Ableton live sets, samples and more, that's all available on my Patreon. There's a link for that right here and down in the comments. Let's go. Hi guys, so I'm working on this dub techno sketch. Yeah, so we got some dub chords, some drums, and like a synth bass thing. And uh, the dub chords are sounding good. What they could do with like some delay and some reverb and some modulation. So I'm actually gonna go for Ableton's hybrid reverb device. Um, and you can use this device as a delay and a reverb, okay. So what you have is in its basic form is convolution reverb and an algorithmic reverb um, blended together in one audio effect unit, okay? And um, over here you have a send parameter. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is actually go over to this um, section here and configure it to only have the convolution reverb playing. And I'm going to go through and uh, select a spring reverb impulse response. Really, really nice. Uh, there's a bunch of impulse responses. Uh, I think I'm going to go for this Berlin spring. And right over here, we have a pre delay section which can be synced. And it can be used as a regular pre-delay, but uh, you can also use it um, as a delay. So I've synced it up, and if I turn up this feedback parameter, the reverb gets fed back into itself, and we get um, a delay. But not just any delay, it's, it's uh, literally a convolution delay, which is something I haven't heard of before, and has a lovely, lovely sound to it. Um, now, I'd like to automate this uh, send, so but only some of the notes are going to get fed to this um, effect. And to do that, I'm, I'm not actually going to automate it. What I'm going to do is go and get um, Ableton's expression control from the modulators section. I'm going to drop it on the track. And um, what I'm going to do is set the, I'm going to map this to the send parameter here. And the source is the velocity. And if we go and look at the uh, MIDI clip with the dub chords we're playing from, you notice we have some high velocity notes and low, okay? And I only want them high velocity notes to really emphasize this spring reverb, okay? so. Right now it's not doing anything, so I think I've got to um, change it to bipolar mode. And I'd also like to automate this feedback parameter, so let's go ahead and press record. starting to get a dub vibe. Uh, something else I'd like to automate is actually the pre-delay time here. So let's press record again. So let's go ahead and um, dial in the 
algorithmic reverb. So right now I'm going to set it to parallel mode. So both of the reverbs are playing together. And um, for the algorithm, you have a bunch of um, settings for it, and each one has its own parameters that you can adjust. You have like a shimmer reverb. Really nice. Uh, this tides thing. I think you can create like a, a pumping effect on your reverb with this one. And prism. I'm not sure about this one. I haven't played with it yet. But right now I'm going to go with the dark hall. Um, something which you can play around with here is the EQ. And um, if you set it to a pre algorithm, Basically, what you're doing is any effect you have on this EQ won't affect the spring reverb, it will only affect the um, algorithmic reverb. So say if I wanted to high, pa high pass this and just have the top end of the algorithmic reverb coming through, but yet retain all the character of the spring, uh, this is how you do it. Um, it's good to tidy up your low end when it comes to reverbs and stuff. Um, and over here we have like a, a, a vintage section. And if you turn it right up, you hear what it does. It just adds a bunch of noise and, and basically dirties up the um, effect, which can be really good. And you could push that to extremes, maybe on your percussion or something. But in this context, I don't want anything that much. Uh, just the, this setting will do for now. And I'm just going to cut out a little bit of the high end. So yeah, this is working pretty nicely right now. And um, another thing we can look at here is we have this blend. So we can blend so that just the algorithmic reverb or spring reverb. And um, it might be nice to actually modulate this because it's something you could take advantage of which take advantage of which like other uh, um, reverbs and delays don't really have this feature so let's get a unique vibe going I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab an LFO and map it to the uh, blend parameter and let's set the timing That creates a really nice vibe to me. Really, really nice. Almost like a polyrhythmic vibe to the to the dub thing we've got going on. I don't know how to describe it, but let's just bypass the hybrid reverb for a moment. See how much interest it is adding to our sound. Uh, let's just play around with the dry wet parameter. Yeah, it's sounding really nice and I'm happy with that. 